the push loop, um, my, my trick was to look at the top of the sail to get the spin. And that's it, right? Push loop's a lot easier than a back loop, but it seems scarier. Um, push loop's kind of the same as a back loop. You want a steep wave. Just same thing. Make sure you go up in the air first and make sure you're going really fast. When you go up in the air, instead of like looking over your back shoulder like that, you kind of look backwards like that and you keep your hands kind of close, close to you. And if you do that, you'll start doing that spin automatically. And people think you should push straight away, but you shouldn't. You should only push when you're right on top of the gear and you want to stop the rotation. Then you push, then you come down and you land nicely on the tail. I just get my body very close when I'm yeah, at the top and then it somehow turns around. <laughs> don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just a one move thing. You just get very close together and then normally it just spins you around and never let go because it can get painful. <laughs> You have to uh, tell yourself, okay, I'm doing that move, and uh, because there's no way you can learn it in steps. And uh, doing the push loop is quite an easy move, actually. With the push loop, it's more about uh, just going uh, full speed, get the height, and then throw your head back, and uh, yeah, then um, close the sail, stay compact, and uh, try to land tail first with control. For the push loop, uh, same movement as the back loop, straight up, and uh, when you feel that you reach the highest point, you throw your gear down, and once you feel that you are like kind of upside down, you push with your back um, arm, and yeah, that will make the whole rotation, and you will land with your ass, and that's it. And I know it's, it's a bit scary, but just really, really try to keep, put your head back and throw it fast, and you will do it. Keep your hands pretty narrow, and then when you go up, just look back and kick out your back hand as hard as you can. And that's it, then you get the rotation. Push loop is just a jump where you just throw yourself backwards like on a on a trampoline. Um, throw your head into the back uh, and when you're halfway through the rotation just try to push your hand away to open the sail that's how you stop the rotation normally in your first couple of tries you're gonna over rotate you're gonna land on your back it's gonna hurt a bit and uh, the way to stop that is opening the sail halfway through the rotation this is one that I got from Levi when I was learning it's to think of it like a reverse cheese roll don't think about throwing your head Think about just rolling over the mast. Uh, too often people think about throwing the head and throwing everything back and up, and that makes the rotation go too crazy. So instead, just think about going up, kind of like a back loop, and rolling over the mast. Normally in a back loop, you go uh, vertical, but here you gotta go like, you wanna go loop around, you know, like a, like a mortal, <laughs> as we say here, and then, like uh, open the, the, the sail, so you get the rotation. The best tip is full speed, straight onto the steepest part of the wave, and push really hard uh, backwards with your uh, back hand, and try to get as high as possible so you can rotate around the, um, the board easily. Push loop, um, arch your back. Push 
Snoop, the easiest thing, head back. The difference, I think, between a push loop and a, a back loop is, is sort of where you look in the rotation. So with a push loop, it's to really swing your head right back and look at the, uh, the tip of the mast. Um, and then you get that nice right over the top rotation. It's like hit the ram, a steep ram, don't go, don't, it's not a, you don't have to take off into the wind too much. It's, you have to kind of find the, the balance, like kind of between too much back loop or front loop. So it's like in between the ramp, steep ramp, hit it, just head back as much as you can and the rest will do it itself. Just like flip around and just land. Just same type of ramp as you'd go for a bike loop, but just as you, you jump, you wait a little bit and when you feel like you're high enough, uh, as high as you think you're gonna go, just look out straight back and then the gear and everything else will follow where you're looking at. So, yeah, just get a little bit of height, look straight up like that, and then when you feel yourself on top of the gear, push on your backhand. That way your sail will come back up. And then um, when the sail's up, then you kind of control it by pulling on the backhand again so you just don't keep spinning and then you prepare for landing. I suggest that it's better to try a push loop maybe on a 4.5, 4.7, I think on a 3.4, or three seven for the for the first couple of tries it might make it a little harder. Have your hands closer to you in a takeoff and as soon as you take off hit the sky with the bar hand and bend from one to your shed. For push loops for me the trick is that you get a steep wave, you go straight up wait like one or two seconds you know count a little bit because if you start rotating straight away your mass might hit the wave so you go up you count and then you throw your head back and you bring the boom towards your chest and um once you're above your rig you shit out and you land it and you just uh, keep the board in the sail uh, as you can as you can and uh, and normally you can you can start like over rotate the push hook it's not the hard move it's just uh, to launch on the vertical ramp and you launch the head. The top tip of push loop is pulling the front hand in. Um, just basically spin around a back loop and pull that front hand in close to your chest. And that really helps to control the rotation. Start up wind and uh, look uh, up to the sky and close your sail. And your sail will open itself when you have to land. You need a good choice uh, with the ramp, a pretty stiff ramp and just trying to uh, turn uh, as fast as you can and, uh, and that's it, you know? Go big or go huge, guys! No, I, I didn't get any tips. I would just go up, try to do a back loop, and then just bring my head back and just try to just try to imagine myself going backwards and spinning quickly. I don't know. That's my tip. <laughs> it's not really any idea. <laughs> Every time I start trying them, when I started blowing my knees up. So you're currently a big four man. I'm currently a big four man. Maybe I should try some push loops. Push loop, just go like you, with your head, <laughs> with your head full power on the back. <laughs> so guys, we just want to see you going for those big fives and uh, send some videos to Windsurf TV, crash, uh, landing, and we just want to see some stuff because pro, we are looking to Windsurf TV, so we want you guys to see some stuff, you know? So there we go, that was the push loop tips from the top pros. Um, I've got to add one in here because a lot of them there are saying, throw your head back, throw your head back. And if you've ever seen the push loop training diaries or the push loop diaries from Tenerife, I'll put the link at the end. Um, throwing your head back doesn't always work for everyone, me included. Um, but again, it, every tip, and I always say is whenever I'm coaching anyone, you never know one tip from one person said in a certain way can work 
work for you and it only takes sometimes just one tip because if you're going for push loops these are just tips these are not like step-by-step -step instructions of how to push loop these are just like little tips just to ah oh, yeah okay and the more you hear the same tip maybe it kind of resonates that's the idea of these we want you to do the big five yes floaty jump tabletop forward loop back loop and push loop um in whatever order at whatever time in your life uh everyone has their own challenges but if you want to join into the big five challenge hashtag big five challenge and i will do an update from you guys at home if i get enough videos in um we are gonna cover more stuff like i say on send it academy gonna do some how to's gonna do some big mistakes you know things to look out for um so stay tuned to the channel subscribe i can't say that enough subscribe uh and i'll stick the videos up there which you should click on to motivate yourselves